everyone, just a quick video to explain the transition um, with your DNA collection that we are making and Dianalysis is making too. So we are changing over from the traditional swab collection kit, which is what a lot of you might be familiar with, where you would use the swab to collect the DNA from the cheek cells inside your mouth. And we are moving over onto something called the blood spot collection kit. So the reason why we're doing this is because DNA's technology has advanced and the testing has become more sensitive. DNA doesn't last or live for as long in your cheek cell swab. Whereas with the blood spot, it lasts for a lot longer. So we've got more time from when you do the collection to when it gets to the lab to actually have your DNA be viable and be able to use it. Um, so we will not be sending out the swab as the first route of testing. We'll be sending out the blood spot collection as the first port of call. So that's there. I'm just going to show you quickly what the blood spot collection involves and quickly how to do it. I know it might seem quite daunting to collect blood from yourself, but it's really not too bad. It's just a finger prick, like you would get your cholesterol screened or your glucose screened at a Dyschem or a Clix. So this really is quite an easy self blood spot collection kit. And it means that you won't have to redo your DNA collection. Well, there's a much lower chance that you'll have to redo your DNA collection. Whereas with the swabs because the technology is advanced some people did have to redo their swab because the the technology couldn't pick up enough DNA from the swab so this is the kit that you would get it contains the lancet prick it contains some gauze it contains an alcohol wipe and it then actually collects the DNA collecting and the blood collection device it has the instructions all written really really well for you so what you would do to start off with your DNA collection. Wash your hands really, really, really well um, with soap and water, dry them, and then after that, you're gonna warm up your hands. So for 30 seconds, rub them together so that we can actually get blood flow to the hands. You would then open up your kit and you would get your lancet or your finger prick needle out. You would get your alcohol prep pad and you would get your gauze. Um, and then in the specimen bag is where we have the blood collection device. This purple thing is your blood collection device. So what you would do after warming up your hands, please remember to use your alcohol prep pad on the finger that you're going to be taking the blood from first. You would lie your hand flat down on a firm surface, choose the finger that you're going to collect the blood from. You can choose your ring finger or your middle finger and at the top in between the line and the top of your finger, that's the best place to do it. You would take your lancet, place your finger on the back end of, of the lancet pricker. You would place it on your finger, press down firmly until you hear a click. And then you would massage your finger up to actually get the blood flow going. Um, open up your DNA collection and your blood collection device. You would then place one of the collection points to your finger, wait for it to turn completely red, that means that enough blood has entered into the collection device, and then you would repeat that process with the other collection point. Once you can see that the little cotton end there or the little collection device is full of blood and it's completely red, what you would do is wait two seconds, one, two, you would then close the kit until you hear a click click there we go and you would place it back into your silver specimen collection kit and you would seal your bag there is also a little label inside the DNA collection box where you would write your name the date that you did the blood spot kit and you would then stick that onto your specimen collection kit and that is it so I hope that explains why we've made the transition over from swabs to DNA blood spot collection. If you are really, really squeamish in taking your own blood, you could always ask a nurse at a Dyschem or a pharmacy to do it for you. They can prick your finger. Or if that's not an option either, we will still be happy to send you the swab. Um, just know that we might need to do a repeat.